Hi guys, I'm the Kegman. Welcome back to Kegman Plays, and welcome back to the European Journeyman. Also, welcome back for the first time uh, to the same club as the previous episode, Artvin Hoppaspor. Yes, we are still here. Um, I know, I know. I'm as shocked as you are. I'm as shocked as you are. Was that Keg two, two, two episodes of the same club? Yeah, I know, I know. Um, a couple of things to talk about. Number one. You'll see that the finances, top right-hand corner there, have taken a huge spike. We will talk about that momentarily. Uh, you'll also notice that we are third in the league. We are relegation, supposedly relegation footer, and we are sitting third in the league. Um, we are still 11 points behind. Uh, top place, Shanlia, Shanlia for sport. Points, five points behind Kashiaka. Um, we are still two points clear of Manisa Spore and Osmanila Spore. And we're a further five points ahead of sixth place. Now, I've looked into how the league works. This is what I want to talk about, first of all. Um, so we've looked into how the league works. And I think I've got this worked out. So TFF2 League. Uh, the League Biaz and the League Kermizi. So if I go to TF22 League, nothing changes. Okay. And if we do this again, we go to Kermizi, it does change. Now, I believe what happens here is that the top place, I think it's like Vanarama North and Vanarama South, I think top place gets automatic promotion. And from what I can tell, if we go look at the rules, uh, there's like a third place. <coughs> Sorry. Then um, we go to third place playoff. Now this is eight teams in total, four teams from each league go to a playoff. So there is a chance of promotion for a place. And the reason I believe this to be the case is if we go to the TFF1 league, there are three teams that get relegated. Doesn't actually say anything about the third place playoff as to whether there's a relegation or promotion or not. But I believe that is the case. So, as it stands, we are 14 games away from a possible promotion playoff, which for a team that's going to be relegation quarter is superb. You'll also see that our average player ratings are up there. We've got two players in the top five. Uh, assist wise we've got two players in the top five in fact we've got uh three players in the top 10 um we've conceded the second most goals uh we scored the fifth most goals we had most chances created and um we're doing okay oh sorry this is goals and that's assists sorry we've got one person in the top five assists and two in the top five goals so we're doing okay we're doing pretty well we're punching above our weight that's the main thing uh, the board have given me a new contract. We actually do get a contract extension if we win promotion. We're on an A+. Plus. Um, they're delighted that we're fighting bravely against relegation. Uh, we're working within our wage budget. We'll look at that in a moment as well. And we were competitive in the cup. We actually got knocked out in the first round, but who cares? It's the cup. It's not what we're focusing on. Financially, like I say, we're in a really good position. I'll come back to that in a minute. Uh, I asked for more wage budget. The board complied, actually gave me some more wage budget. Unfortunately, I can't turn this into transfer budget to get rid of that deficit there. It's a little bit of a pain. Uh, I have been asking them for transfer budget. They keep saying no, despite the finances. But it is what it is. You know, you, you, there's not a lot you can do about it. Now, should we rectify? Well, should we figure out why? There was a big jump here from 174 to 589 grand. Actually, it was at 600,000 not long ago. Uh, right, schedule-wise. Mo Lira, Mo Problems, Extra Lira, Extra Lira. There was a space in the schedule for two friendly cups. And we've got Fenerbahce, Besiktas, and Galatasaray for one. Fenerbahce, Galatasaray, and Aki Suspor for the other one. We were on 173 grand. Those two cups brought in... Four hundred and twenty-seven thousand pounds. Um, so big money for us. Big, big money. We're not going to be worrying about finances for a little while at this club. That's the main thing. And then when we get through to preseason next year, we'll do the same thing again. I don't think there's a gap, uh, unfortunately, for us to do that. But things go well next season. Hopefully, we'll be in the next tier up. We'll have some money coming in. Be good to go. Hopefully, have a good amount uh, of you know fighting against relegation in the next tier. That is my plan anyway. Um, team cohesion's quality. We've got the team cohesion in a decent place now. Uh, there's one unhappy player at the club. It says there's two, but apparently there's only one unhappy player at the club. Um, they're both midfielders. They both want to play more games. They're not going to get more games. They're not good enough. Uh, managerial support has taken a little dip. I don't know why. We're not losing games. Um, as you can see here in the schedule. 
we were on a free four game win streak. We did lose a game here to Kasiaka. Actually, if we'd have won that, we'd be ahead of them in the league. Um, and we had four games on the trot there. We lost a game to Chubuk Spor. Uh, beat Sancha. Uh, we lost the top of the league uh, up until earlier today. Because uh, I was streaming before I'm recording this. Uh, they actually had been unbeaten the entire season. So I'm hoping they take a bit of a dip. But I mean, the, the results have been good. Results have been good. It was like I said, we've got 14 games left. The results have been good. Uh, transfer wise, we did bring in a lot of players in. As you can see, there's been a lot of players in and a lot of players out. Um, I will go through the main guys in the squad and we'll talk about who we have brought in and who we haven't brought in. So none of the ex the original goalkeepers, none of them exist. We brought in this guy here, Aiden Sayan on a free um pay him 150 quid a week he's all right he's got a little bit of pa i don't really we're not going to see much pa out of him he's 24 we're not really pushing to develop players we're here pushing to develop ourselves he's good this guy came up on a free transfer as well amit kivanch uh 24 as well slightly higher pa again not gonna worry about that he's in now we've got him to he's better in general i think his distribution is a little bit lower uh van aiden's but that's fine i can deal with that that's fine uh we've got Mert shellick in on loan um just needed another player in basically uh just to bolster our defense it wasn't the best um we have also got here a good chan uh he's our other main center back and he's apart from the old injury here and there he does get a bit of injury uh injuries he's getting a bit older now um he's, he's all right he's quality i can't argue too much on the left-hand side, we've got Kana Terp, who's not brilliant, but he does the job. On the right-hand side, we are mostly using uh, Fatty Turan. Again, not amazing, but he does a job. He has spent time outside of Turkey as well, Genk and Fortuna Sittard on his uh, resume. Uh, who else did we bring in? Who's the main guys here? Uh, we've got Kana Erzden, likes to bang him in. Actually does score some very good goals from outside the area. Um, Again, not brilliant, but he does the job. He's in the middle with this man here, Abdullah Berkay Velivar, who is rather nice, rather tasty to this level. On the right-hand side, we're using Enes Bacal currently. He can cross, he can dribble, can't really shoot. He can pass, though. Got a little bit of pace. I needed someone who can just get down the wings and get the ball across. On the left-hand side, unfortunately, he got injured. We just signed this guy on a free here. Matahan Murtoz. He did score two in his previous game. He's played free and scored free. He's been a great signing for us, but he is now injured for nine days. Not great news. Great free signing. Uh, Ergen here. Mustafa Okaitu Ergen. He has scored uh, 11 and 19, which isn't a bad turnover. Uh, it's not a bad like, you know, return. Not an amazing player, but he does the job. And we've also got Yunus Karadag, the man on the free transfer, who has played 19 games and scored 12. Um, he's got two assists as well. He's okay. He's okay. He's about as good as we've got. Uh, we got this guy in, Aslantas, on a loan from Basak Shahir. And he's fairly decent as well. But these are the main guys. These are the main guys. Everyone else here, not really worth a toss, in all honesty. But, it is, you know, we're doing what we can with what we've got. We are a small club. We've now got a little bit of money. I still think we have financial issues. Um, but we are a small club. We've turned this club over. There's not that many of the original players here. We're getting there slowly but surely. But, yeah, we're doing all right. Uh, we do have a game, of course, today. We've got a game against uh, in Inegal Sport. Inegal Sport, who are 10th in the league. Um, it would be nice to keep our run of form going. Uh, we are 20 points clear of them. I do want to keep pressure up on the top two. I don't think it's likely that we'll get ourselves uh, automatic promotion. I think, I think this one game they've lost there is a blip. It would be nice, though. Uh, but, yeah, we'll have a little bit of a cut, and we'll come back uh, to that game in just a second. So, guys, one thing I wanted to do before we go into this game. Uh, we had a really, really dismal youth intake preview. Uh, this has actually come up recently. We should really be be really optimistic about this group of young players. No, we shouldn't. Everything was yellow. Like everything's yellow. We don't have any great number of players coming through in any single position. We have no defensive midfielders coming through. We haven't got any new wingbacks coming through. The fullbacks coming up are not the best. Most of our centre backs coming through look like they won't make the grade. Most of the new central midfielders do not look like they'll ever be good enough for the first team. The next crop of wide midfielders do not look like great prospects. Most of our attacking midfielders coming through look to be below the required standard. Uh, there are a few good wingers in general, 
most of our new strikers coming through look like they'll fall short of the required standards. So top, top quality uh, youngsters coming in by the looks of things. Um, really, really looking forward to seeing how that works out for us, uh, if at all. It's yeah, it's it's a, it's an interesting one. It's an interesting one to say the least. But you can't win anything with kids. Not really here to develop you, are we? Still. Right then, guys. So we're going to have to go with this team here, unfortunately. Um, Mr. Burke Velovar is sitting on 87%, and of course, Metoz uh, was injured for a few days. So we're going to have to go with a weakened team for this one. So we've got Chivar Chetin in as a box to box, which isn't great because he really cannot play box to box. Um, outside of that, though, we should be okay. Uh, I think the rest of the team are fine. You know, as good as it can be. English for setting up nice. I like this sort of tactic. I like this sort of shape. I, I find these sort of shapes very, very good. We didn't have the players for a shape like this, but if I did, that's how we set up. Maybe, maybe in the next team, we look at doing something that's a bit more uh, um, exciting than a 4-4-2, which I really do not like doing. Anyway, let's get a passionate eye of faith in you, and we'll come back for a highlight in a moment. Okay, first highlight of the game. Uh, Wow. Okay, send him off, ref. It's a red. First minute of the game, and they are down to 10 men. What a start. All right, then, folks. Still no highlights yet. Still no highlights. We'll get there, though. Yes, get creative. It's got to be something. Come on. Give me something. All right, here we go. Ergers. Long ball forward. Uh, defender guest to it. There's Erzden. Is it Chelich? Long ball wide to Eunice Karadag. He gets the ball in. Is that a shot? That's horrendous. The fuck was that? Right, nicked it back though. Fatty to Enes, beast of man. Ball across, no one there, and Umit now on the break. This is a team with ten, bo uh, ten men, boys. Come on, we should be tracking these guys down very quickly. While I'm thinking about it, let's really press them. Let's really press them. Put the pressure on. Them. We've got a man more than them. 1 0 up. Disallowed. Thank God for that. Offside. Jesus. Right. So, free kick for them. Stolen the ball. There is Old J2. Uh, Chelich finds a long crossfield pass for Osman. And is that a shot? Again? What are you shooting at? That couldn't have been a shot. That must have been a misplaced cross. Okay. Probably the last highlight for the break. Batty gets the cross in. Kane to Terp, edge of the area. He does try it. Grace is the top of the bar. Going out for a goal kick. So second half's been really exciting so far. We've not had a single highlight. Are we going to draw against a team with 10 men? I feel like we are. We changed it to very attacking. Let's um, push it higher up the pitch then, I guess. I'm going to be very, very pissed off and disappointed if we can't beat a, men, a team with 10 men for more or less 90 minutes of this game. It's going to end up this way. It's actually going to end up that way. <laughs> how has this going to happen? How, how has this happened? How has this happened? There's not been a single highlight this half. Not that I can recall, anyway. How the fuck has this happened? I <sighs> certainly won against Ahmed. Uh, Kasiaka won, of course. That means we've dropped down. No, we're still third. Same points to Osman. But Kasiaka are now seven clear, and Sanley are. I, I am livid. I'm absolutely livid. This team could not put it away against a fucking ten man team. Right, that team was 10 men for more or less that entire game. Anyway, folks, that's going to be the end of today's episode. Um, thank you very much for joining us again. If you want to catch up on this live, please do join me over on Twitch. Uh, links in that in the description below, of course. Uh, Discord, Twitter, so on and so forth. You know what to do. You know what to do. Anyway, folks, I'll see you next time. Take it easy. Bye-bye. <laughs>